Welcome to Land a House. I'm Seth. This is the Vestwoods 14.33 kilowatt hour lithium iron phosphate whole house battery. Vestwoods sent this over to me so that I could show it to you. When coupled with an 8 kilowatt inverter, this thing is able to tackle pretty much all of your household electrical needs. Let's go ahead and talk about this battery. The first thing of note about this battery is the shipping. Coupled with the 8 kilowatt inverter, the total package weight was 450 pounds. This battery alone weighs 275 pounds or 125 kilograms. So you can see it's not very big, but it is very heavy. So I um, arrived in a parking lot. The 18 wheeler was able to back up to my trailer, use a lift gate to push this into my trailer. When I got back to the house, I unboxed it. It was in a nice uh, hefty crate and a friend of mine came over and we were able to get this onto a hand cart and lift it up my stairs and get it in here to the house. So definitely use uh, a friend and a hand truck. Do not try to move this battery by yourself. It is far too heavy. This battery is designed so that it can be mounted on a wall, which would also require another person to help you hoist this up there. It can also be just set on the floor, which is what I've done here. Seems like the easiest option. But if you are gonna be mounting this to a wall, it does have a nice metal plate that will allow you to get this set up into position. The model number on this battery is the VE51280W. The nominal voltage is 51.2 volts. So basically you're working with a 48 volt system. This is rated at 280 amp hours, 14.336 kilowatt hours. Included with the battery is a set of 50 millimeter cables, which I have found to be one aught. So that's supposed to hold 150 amp, which this battery is rated at 200 amp. So not exactly sure why they didn't use a larger wire on this system, but um, it is what it is. It also has a data cable so that the lithium setting of this battery can talk to the inverter. It also comes with a user manual, which is helpful to get just some basic information that you may need. On this side of the battery, you can look up under here and see where the data port is connected into for the data cable. This goes out to the inverter. This side over here is where you would connect if you want to connect more than one battery together. It also has a state of charge indicator down here. You can see it's fully charged and the light over here just means it's functioning properly. There is a double set of terminals down here, positive and negative. The first two here go to the inverter. The second set would allow you to extend this to other batteries. You'd be able to uh, extend several more out and have tremendous amount of storage. Lastly, there's a power button down here and that just turns the battery on and off. You can use this right up here as a handle. If you move over to the other side, there is another one of those indentions and that is very helpful whenever you're moving this around. Down below, there's some data, just having the uh, model number, the weight, and various other information that I mentioned earlier. This overview is all about the Vestwoods battery, but I do want to show you the included inverter that the Vestwoods company sent. This is the eight kilowatt inverter, and currently it has three kilowatts of solar coming in, and I have been slowly migrating the critical loads from my main house panel over here to the critical loads panel. And uh, so far I just have the refrigerator and it ran that for the past 24 hours and the battery dropped down 2% overnight and then now has easily reached back up to 100% here during the daytime. I'm gonna stick a multimeter here into the battery terminal so you can see what the voltage is. 57.2 at the moment. In order to show the output amps on the battery, I'm going to connect a receptacle here and I've got a heater so I can go ahead and plug this up and then we will test out the amperage here on the negative wire. All right, go ahead and turn this on. Got between 10 and 13 amps right now. The inverter is showing 119.9 volts at 8.7 amps. 8.4 amps on that one. 
and an output of 1,036 to 1,040 watts. I have about 1,000 watts coming in from the solar. One thing to note, not just any data cable will work on this battery. It has to be the specific one provided by Vestwoods because the cables have to swap the terminals that they're in in order for it to function properly. Now I did sever the cable to go to a breaker, which I'll show you in a later video, um, but I just wanted to make sure that I showed you I have a disconnect there, and then it goes up here to this, which you can turn the power on and off right there. The instruction booklet that comes with this battery has a little bit of information in it you may want to know. Um, most of it is also written on the side of the battery, um, but there's dimensions, it's got some uh, pinouts for whenever you're using those communication cables. And then if you move back here to the charts, if you're going to be using the lead acid settings on your uh, charge controllers, 57.6 volts DC is the uh, charging. And it has a range of 44.8 volts to 57.6. So the nominal voltage is 51.2 volts DC. And the rated capacity is 14.336 kilowatt hours. 200 amp hour charge and discharge. IP65. Now it is stated that this could be installed outdoors but covered. So if you're going to be using uh, this system outdoors, make sure it's either under a carport or in a garage to keep it from getting uh, too rained on. This device right here is the Wi Fi dongle, and I highly recommend it. It's got so much information that is definitely worth getting off of the internet. The monitor app that comes with this Vestwood system is really great. Solarman Smart is what it's called. So as you can see here on the home page, I've currently got 427 watts coming in from solar. I've produced 0.53 kilowatt hours and I've consumed 1.61 kilowatt hours. The state of charge on the battery is 50%. If I tap into this, it gives more information. So for instance, I've got uh, 153 watts of the solar that I'm producing is going into the battery. If I move up here, you can see a little chart. Now it's a very cloudy day today. Looks like we've uh, gotten up to 600 watts at one point coming in from solar. Um, but the red down here at the bottom is the consumption from the house and the blue is where the solar has started. So you can see about uh, 7.45 or so in the morning is when uh, this solar started up here. All right, if we go back, we can go over to statistics and uh, it's been running for 47 days. Total production, 54 kilowatt hours. If you move down here, you can actually see the blue lines are where my charging is occurring and the red lines are wherever the um, uh, discharge is here on the, the battery. You can click the device option here and you will be able to go into the inverter and see a lot more of the settings. And that concludes my brief overview of the Vestwoods 14.336 kilowatt hour lithium iron phosphate battery. I will have a link to this in the description down below so you can learn more information. Now stay tuned to the channel for the next video where I'm going to be doing a step-by-step -step full install of this entire system, including the battery, the inverter, and moving over my critical loads. And then after that, I'm gonna have another video where I do a full test for the charge and discharge and probably even do a grid down situation to see how long this will run my main circuit here without having to have grid support. I'm Seth with Land the House and I will see you in the next video. Bye.